Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with the OG FSS Hurricane. It's a beast of an SMG that isn't given enough respect, in my opinion, in Modern Warfare 3. Let's have a look at the configuration. I start with the Sacken ZX Grip. But let's look at the damage. 46 to the head. That's huge for an SMG. 36 upper and lower torso. Both big numbers. And in the upper legs, it's going to be 33. 0.8 newtons on the target flinch, which is a little bit heavier than average. As far as the ranges, again, good for an SMG. 15.5 meters for the effective damage range and almost 40 meters for the minimum damage range. The bullet velocity is 680 meters per second. You can follow people and gack them. And the rate of fire is 697.7 rounds per minute, which is average-ish. The recoil is where the FSS Hurricane shines. 36.76 on the gun kick. The horizontal recoil is only 7.24 degrees per second. And the vertical recoil way down at 31.21 degrees per second. You can take a look at the hip fire, pretty much average, slightly better, and mobility, same there. Handling, ADS speed, 243, maybe on a little on the slow side, it's how I have it configured, but look at the sprint to fire, 110 milliseconds. The grip helps us with the recoil. The demo, Quicksilver stock, it's all part of increasing, in a composite way, the mobility and the handling. Hurts a little bit on the hip fire and the tack stance but both of them are still excellent and with the recoil again this is a very accurate weapon it's a laser dot mark three reflector had an extra slot so i threw it on it gives us glass the trebuchet break Look what it does for the recoil control. 25% on the gun kick and 15% each on the horizontal and vertical recoil. It brings down that long effective damage, 10% as well as the minimum damage range, but both are still awesome for the SMG category. And finally, the FTAC MSP 98 hand stop. Hurts a little bit on the horizontal recoil, that's 2%. Don't be afraid of red just because it shows up. Look at the number. 2% you'll never notice. It helps also with the movement speed and the composite ADS speed. Let's take this beast onto the field of honor and see how it did for grandpa. Before we get too deep into our free-for-all, let's take a look at the numbers compared to a configured rival 9. Green is good, red is bad for the hurricane, highlighted Red is very bad, and you can see that the fire rate is where the Rival 9 shines, but bullet velocity, give it to the Hurricane as the headshot damage and all the rest of the damages. Also, the effective damage range, significantly better for the Hurricane, almost one-third better or 50% better, depending on which number you're looking at. So we carried this into the hotel. We're already checked in, so we don't have to worry about talking to the concierge, and we hit our first corner camper. If you look at the kill metrics, it appears that the Rival 9 wins, but remember the effective damage range and one more thing, the headshot damage. One headshot mixed in with the Hurricane lowers the time to kill significantly to the 344 milliseconds, so it beats out the rival nine in two of the two of the categories, and that's at the effective damage range. You can see that the hurricane is a laser dot because of the recoil. They are significantly better than the meta rival nine. The hip fire minimum and maximum spread is better. Now, as configured, aim down sights better for the rival nine but the sprint to fire speed much better for the hurricane so you'd be putting out the, the bullets the fire the chaff the wheat whatever you want to call it much quicker sometimes you have to say i love you with a renetti we all know that we're down to 12 rounds in the hurricane Just absolutely a laser dot. I had time to put out my tactical and gack that sleepy guy at the end of the hall. Get in the first shot, you're going to win every time. 
That one falls for the oldest trick in the cod book. And with maybe two in a row, we'll do that. Nope, that person I think is a bit smarter. Not to challenge Grandpa Newbie when he's laying down and ready. Ooh, the guy is checking people in for supper. No more. We'll leave a proximity mine in case he comes back. He put us at the bottom of the list anyway. Three hour waiting time. Needs to be gacked for that. That poor guy didn't know where he's getting shot from. I seldom put a silencer on my free for all. And the reason being is I don't care if people know where I am. In fact, ooh, I just got hoisted on my own petard there. Gack the enemy, but also gack myself with my own proximity mind. I don't care if people see where I am, and I sometimes I prefer it because I want them to come toward me. It's, it's hard to find folks in free fall every now and then. And if they think they've got a free gack, they're on their way. They're bringing the mail. And we're returning it, hopefully. That guy's waiting to check in. That's what happens at fine hotels. If you don't have reservations, somebody gacks you. So we've built up a pretty good lead. I was talking to this crowd, as I remember. They were a pretty good group of people. There's one gentleman who had just turned 70 in the lounge, which I was very impressed. Anybody that lives that long, which for me is less than four years, has, well, not beaten the odds, but there's some place where everybody else in the lobby hopes to get someday. So we win that one, not a Snickers one, not satisfying 26 kills. There's a lot of camping going on, but hey, it happens. So Grandpa's going to play one more game. And we get shipment, usually a pretty bloody map, but one of Grandpa's favorites. Already there's a knifer who's leading the game. Shooting in the back is my favorite way. I know there's somebody coming, so I prepare with the Renetti, and I buy the farm. Look at the laser dot. Look at the damage. The damage is so significant with the Hurricane compared with most of the other SMGs in the game. And you slip in a headshot, your time to kill is lightning fast. Now, I realize that my TTKs might be different from other people, but believe me, I calculate them the right way. Now, they may have some information that I don't have, like the stats are wrong. But according to the stats, my TTKs are pretty exact. In fact, I've uh, mentioned to a couple of the bigger creators that they have incorrect times to kill. And either they change them or they tell me that they have better stats and that the stats that are published are incorrect. And at that point, you just have to take their word for it. They got secret stats from somebody. But they always respond, and they're always friendly. I've got one-on-one -on -one with just about every of the big creator that are bigger than me, I guess, that calculates times to kill. You recognize the names. But you can always do an idiot check yourself. Look at the fire rate. Figure out how many rounds per second which is an easy thing to do just divide the fire rate by 60 so how many rounds per second and then you take a look at ooh, <laughs> how many bullets it takes whether it's headshot or upper lower torso upper legs how many shots it takes for a GAC, and then given the rounds per second, the number of shots, you can tell exactly what portion of the second it's going to take.
to get a kill. So some some of the numbers people publish are just absolutely ridiculous. I think what they do is they have their spreadsheet set up to where they don't round up the number of shots. So you really can't kill somebody with 3.25 bullets. You have to round up to four, and you take the full time it takes to shoot four bullets. Because you, I don't even know what happened there. Oh, the knifer got me. Knifer Zelvis, he's the king. Ah, actually, I'm the king at this point. But the knifer keeps sticking people. There's the blue teal nun. We just have three more gacks to go. The tension is mounting. It's going to keep Grandpa awake. I just walked past somebody. <laughs> and the knifer gets me, but I get him. With my proximity mine, and that's a Snickers win. I thought the Hurricane is worthy of a permanent class. I think it's one of the better SMGs in the game. I think it's better than the Meta Rival 9 for sure. Anyway, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Cheers and peace. Mission is complete. Good work. <laughs>